Uh, let's speak to an Arsenal fan. Nigel joins us. Hello, Nigel. Hi, Andy. Hi, hi Bente. I didn't make you right. Are you starting to believe yet, Nigel? Well, we're just on our way up to Cockfosters to park the car, and yeah, we. I'm starting to believe, but there, there is a reason for that. And I, I, I mean, if you're under 25, you probably didn't watch the greatest Arsenal team that ever played in 2003-04. This team, this team plays with the same intensity as what that team did. And no matter where we're playing, you can see that there's no let-up from them. They go pedal to the metal, 90 minutes, and they don't let anything drop. We're doing exactly the same this year. Arteta's got, Arteta's got them firing. And no matter what fixtures come up, they're not interested what t- what the team is who's lining up next to them. They're just all they're going to do is pound you and pound you and pound you, win the ball back as quick as possible, and then they're going to hit you as hard and as fast as they can. Now that that 2003-2004 team, I think there was only two players who were under six foot: Ashley Cole and Lundberg. Mm. They were massive, big, physical, strong players. You look at this team now. I know Saka Saka's under six foot. I know Martinez is a touch under six foot. They're still strong lads. Saka was pushing Declan Rice off the ball the other week, uh, the other day against West Ham. He was he was bossing Declan Rice, a big lad. We are big across the back line. We're massive, uh, especially Tommy Asu plays at left back. Do, do you know what, Nigel? <laughs> uh, Nigel, uh, at that period, oh three, oh four. And I remember saying that for Arsenal squ- squads when they were successful, certainly back then they were massive. You used to stand in the tunnel and you look across and you'd see like Torre, Campbell, Gilberto, Vieira. Henri, Burkamp, Petit. M- no, that, that was before. Oh, okay. These got Edu, Parla, massive. All of a sudden, they got smaller and smaller. But the only thing I'd say Do about Parla in that list, he's massive. He's about six foot two. Who Ray Parla? Yes, he's Is massive. He? He's big. I think he shrunk a bit. No, he's big. Okay. When you when you look at that that Arsenal invincible team and the team now, there are similarities. But when you look at depth of squad, like Arsenal's forwards back then were Burkamp, Wultord, Henri, Carnu. And obviously, God rest his soul, Antonio Reyes. That is as deep as it gets. Mm. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> Nothing, listen, for this, <laughs> Nothing for me. Nothing for me. No, I'm just, I'm just thinking of the difference. In, I mean, football football players were a lot more physical back then. Mm. You could get away with a lot more back then as well. The, 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 the mid- game has changed dramatically. The midfield. You look at the Spanish side that, of course, won the Euros tiny. and the World Cup. Tiny. Yeah, but they had a couple of monsters. No, like Ramos and Pique, monsters. Uh, no, in I know, but do you know what I mean? They're, they're still not the. Yeah, it's changed dramatically. Yeah. For Remember Chelsea, last. how big they were. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Giants. They were. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's speak to Wayne, who's an Arsenal fan. Hello, Wayne. Hello, mate. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm very well. How are you? Um. Yeah. Very good, mate. Very good. Very good. Um. Yeah. Just wanted to touch on the Arsenal Newcastle game. Um. Yeah, we're gonna smash them, mate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love that. A- anything <laughs> else? <laughs> yeah. No. You know. Yeah, it's going to be about three nil. I mean, you got you got to realise in probably twelve, thirteen years, there's never been a draw. So there's going to well, be. Hold on, what do you mean? There's never been a draw of what between the two teams? Between two teams, there's never been never been a draw in like what was it, two thousand eleven, twelve? The last time there was a draw was two thousand eleven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, between the and two that was teams, nil nil, and, 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 and there's always two or three goals. Yeah. And we score more goals than Newcastle, so. Uh, you know, I, de- I yeah, definitely think Wayne. Well, you've, you've done your maths. I mean, Ar- I can't, Arsenal, can't Arsenal, argue with Arsenal are a different team at home. I know, I know they're playing well away from home, <laughs> but they start games at home so fast. Mm. The, in people's, I mean, the start against Liverpool. What was it? Uh, less than a minute. Yeah. They start games fast at home. Do you think we're going to learn a lot tonight? Or is yeah, it just, you do. Yeah, I think. We'll, yeah, I think we'll learn more about Newcastle than Arsenal. What, in what what respect? Because New, because Arsenal have been up there before. I know it may have been a while ago, but we have seen Arsenal up there before. It happened last season for a period. We were in that top four and we dropped. Newcastle are on the, on the up. So yeah. we'll see how they are when they... I mean, they've, they've done well against Chelsea at home, but they're away from home playing against one of the top sides. Mm. The top side. Uh, let's go to Jay as an Arsenal fan. Hello, Jay. Hi, how are you doing, lad? I'm good. I'm very well. Are you going tonight? Uh, I'm not, I'm afraid. I'm working late and I uh, won't be able to get to the game. But what do you do, Jay? Get tickets. What do you do? Uh, I'm, a, I'm a university student on my placement year. Oh, okay. Uh, I work in a career uh, recruitment firm. All right, okay. All right, well, listen, talk to me about the game. What's going to happen? What you find up to say? Well, uh, no, I think it's going to be an interesting one tonight. I think, I'd say we are the favourites and uh, it's going to be a great game. I mean, regardless of the result, I think it's going to be some good football. Newcastle do look good, though, and uh, I think they've been brilliant this season, what Eddie Howe's been doing with them. Been fantastic, and uh, players like Kieran Trippier, I mean Joel Linton, 
um, of on. I mean, they've just been stars at the moment, but I think we do have enough firepower. I think it's going to be a high-scoring game, to be honest, but if we can get the job done, I do think those title hopes just sort of go a bit further, don't they? Jay, can I ask, if you lose tonight, does, yeah. does, how much does that throw a spanner into the works? I think it does. It's a couple of things. I mean, in terms of getting into the Tottenham game, having just come off a defeat, I think that'd be difficult. Mm. You've got to turn that around. I do think the lads do have the mental capabilities to do that. I mean, they're all strong. You can tell just the mentality, what Arteta's done with the team is brilliant. You've got leaders like uh, Odegaard and just Saka, like leading from the front and even Martinelli, just real proper good players. And I think if we did lose tonight, it'd be a big blow. I think I'd take a point. I mean, obviously would I want you? to win. You but, take a point um, now, would you? I'm not taking a point think, now. No way. I, I'd take a point just because City draw in on Sunday. I mean, they. I think they're beating Chelsea. Um, I think that they definitely do that. But I wouldn't. Not. I would take a point. I want to win. Obviously, you always do. But this Newcastle team. I mean, they went away to Spurs and won. No one expected them to do that. They're Villa, good Villa just did that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't use that as a yardstick. <laughs> no. True. True. But that's when Spurs were playing a bit better. But I don't know. I think we just can't lose. I think if we lose then it just it messes up the change room a bit. We go into Spurs, having lost. I mean, we haven't got a great record at White Hart Lane anyway, well, Tottenham Hotspur Stadium anyway. And if we go in there and we're two on, if we lose two on the bounce, it just sort of the whole mentality around the club, it just ruins it. Whereas if you get a point in Newcastle, I mean, they're a great team. You can't uh, dispute that. They've been playing so well. And if they were to manage a point, I think they, they are going to sit back a bit, play that low block. Um, Jay, they're, they're Jay they are now. playing really well, but Arsenal playing really well. Oh, 100%. And I think, I do think we're going to win tonight. I mean, I, I bat the boys, but I would, you know, we can't lose. <laughs> Jay, I don't know what, what way it's going. <laughs> What's the no, point? No, you think they might win? I have no clue, mate. <laughs> We'd lose or draw. Here's, here's the thing, by the way, if you do beat them, although that result means something, but um, if we beat Bournemouth tonight, yeah. right? What does this tell you? We go within a point of Man City. Yeah, it's honestly that's crazy. That's why Arsenal need to keep winning. But the only thing about Newcastle, well, we, there's, a, there's we, another reason why you need to keep winning. But yeah, but you have to give them respect. They've only conceded eleven goals. Yeah, which it's is be great. It's frightening. There's so much great live sport on tonight. Yeah, it's going to be great. And he just touched on it there on Thursday's Chelsea Man City. Yeah, is it right, Chelsea? Yeah. Oh, great. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.